For all of you who are joining me for this quick video, I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. This question comes to me by way of a particular viewer. How can you solve this in an easy manner? Limit as x approaches infinity, we have the arc cosine or the inverse cosine and that rational function 1 plus x squared divided by 1 plus 2x squared. When you're looking at a rational function like that, think about something like this, a limiting value of a function. It's a concept that many students don't think about intuitively, but it is exactly what they have known all this time when they have been doing horizontal asymptote determinations. Think about what you do when you do a horizontal asymptote determination. Look at that function, 1 plus x squared, divide everything you see by the highest order degree of exponent variable that you see, which is x squared, and you'll do the same with the numerator and the denominator, and look what happens. This right here is called a limiting value of a function determination, similar to a horizontal asymptote determination. When you do this, you're getting 1 over x squared plus x squared over x squared. In the numerator, in the denominator, you get 1 over x squared plus 2x squared over x squared. When you simplify it out, you have 1 over x squared plus 1 divided by 1 over x squared plus 2. Limit as x approaches infinity, d0 out, and you get 1 over 2. Essentially, now what you're doing is just an inverse cosine of 1 over 2. Cosine of what angle? If you were to do the cosine, you would get a 0.5, and you know what that angle is. It's 60 degrees, or you can say pi over 3. Therefore, the answer to this limit would be pi over 3, and it's done, not hard. Limiting value function approach really helps you out for something like this. And that brings us here to the end. Thank you. Have a good day.